Hello friends, welcome to Let's Tutor. In today's session, we are going to solve a few questions based on the first chapter of class 10, exercise 1.1, that is on real numbers. In the previous video, we have solved a first question from the same exercise. If you haven't watched that video, then please watch it. Now moving further, today we will solve few more questions based on the same exercise. Let's look at the second question. Show that any positive odd integer is of the form 6q plus 1 or 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5 where q is some integer. Friends, now what exactly is a positive odd integer? Positive odd integers are all the odd numbers which lies on the right side of 0 on the number line. For example, 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Do you know that according to Euclid division lemma, if a is a positive integer, then we can write it as in the form of a equal to b q plus r where r will be greater or equal to 0 and always will be smaller than b. Friends, to understand this in more detail, I would request you to visit our YouTube channel and watch our chapter-wise concept-based videos. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Also, you can visit our website where you will get a complete course for CBSE with more than 500 MCQs, which will help you in your board exams, especially for objective type questions. So, let's try to solve this. You can see that these numbers are in the form of a equal to b q plus r. Here b is 6, q is a multiple and the value of r is changing in each number. We know that r is equal or greater than 0 and always will be smaller than b. Therefore, we can say that the possible value of r will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Here if we replace the value of r with 0, then we will get a equal to b q. In this numbers, the value of b is 6. Therefore, it will be 6 q, which is an even number. Because we know that if we multiply integer with any even number, we always get an even number. And if we substitute the value of r equal to 1, this is an odd number because this number is the next number after the even number 6q. Next number 6q plus 2. This will be an even number. In this, r is equal to 2. Similarly, 6q plus 3 is an odd number, 6q plus 4 is an even number and 6q plus 5 is an odd number. You can conclude this in such a way that after an even number, an odd number comes. Friends, you can see that in the question, we have to prove these numbers are in the form of odd numbers. Let's move on to the third question. An army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. The two groups are to march in the same number of columns. What is the maximum number of columns in which they can march? Friends, according to question, an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. Here, if we find the HCF of these two numbers, then we can find the maximum number of columns in which they can march. Right? So, that means now we will have to find the HCF of 616 and 32. Here, we can use the Euclid division algorithm. Now, here we can see that 32 is smaller than 616. Therefore, we will consider this as a dividend and this as a divisor and we will write this in a division format. 
and we will try to find the HCF by using Euclid division algorithm. Let's take the first two digits and divide it. Here it would be 32 and here it will be 1. On subtracting we will get 29. We can write this 6 here. On further division here 288 and here 9 will come. Now by subtracting we will get 8. It is smaller than 32. Here our first step is completed. We can write 616 as follows. Now let's proceed. By considering this remainder as a divisor and 32 as a dividend, it would be completely divisible and we will get remainder as 0. So this would be our second step. We can write 32 as 8 multiplied by 4 plus 0. Here we got the remainder as 0. So the HCF of these two numbers 616 and 32 will be 8 because in the last step we got a divisor as 8. Therefore, we can say that 8 is the maximum number of columns in which an army contingent can march. You can also verify your answer by determining the HCF using the factorization method. Now here we got the final solution for this question. Friends, can you tell why in this question we have only find the HCF of these two numbers? Or how did we decide that we have to find the HCF? Friends, don't worry. There is one way to do this. Look at the question carefully. There is a group of an army contingent of 616 members is to march behind an army band of 32 members in a parade. We have to find the same number of columns as well as the maximum number of columns in which they can march. If you will observe the important terms like same number of columns and maximum number of columns, there can be any other similar words such as in the place of same it can be common and in place of maximum it can be more or else greater. For this we will come to know that here we have to find the HCF. You can remember this tip to solve such questions. Friends, while solving this question, if you have any queries, then please write it down in the comment box. That's it for today's session. In the next session, we are going to solve a few more questions based on the same topic. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Do like this video and comment down any queries that you have. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Thank you.